Hello and welcome back to Star Trek Elite Force 2 and when we last of all we assisted the attraction colony to the best of our abilities and we rescued about 10 people out of hundreds I suppose at least by looks of it well it's still a win in our book I guess after all that happened in this campaign and of course we finally tracked down the super villain type and we also crashed our shuttle so it's a one way affair both of the enterprise as well as our auxiliary craft and I'm sure our friend is dying to see us yes right so we should not keep him waiting so instead we just look for my safe game like immediately and see what we can do and apparently I suppose it will be the last episode because uh, the campaign in the first game also was relatively short wasn't it but we'll find out but it seems pretty final to me to be honest Yeah, we've been given all weapons essentially. Okay, and by the Hazard Team, they of course mean Monroe and no one else because I'm soloing the entire mission again because it's a smart thing to do. Yeah, the smart thing to do, yes. Okay, so about, um, I think the area will be heavily defended and as you can see the shuttle's never going to fly again. Maybe it is salvageable, but we have to wait and see of course. Okay, so we have a sniper rifle, at least we can zoom in now, which is something, if I can remember the hotkey, because it's the second time, and the second time only, where we have access to the sniper rifle. Okay, so we're sharing hotkey, no, sniper is dedicated, but that's nice. I don't think it's a thermosite, just fancy looking. <laughs> okay, so we follow the path and see what we can do. On this former uh, Hydro Colony or whatever. So we can at least look around corners, if you're forbidden from shooting, we can at least look around corners, and then zoom as well. Oh, that's nice. Hopefully our boots are watertight, right? Because otherwise, uh, we have some swampy water in that stuff, that's very nasty. Ah, hello there, friend. Fancy seeing you. Fancy seeing you indeed, my friend. Okay, well, uh, I'm not quite sure how plenty for ammo will be, so I suppose we just try to possess some ammo. I said, oh, this hot key... <laughs> It's really stupid. <laughs> we have to uh, yeah, set up for double duty. It's really inconvenient, frankly. Ah, of course you cannot. Of course you cannot. Yeah, see? It's even lighting up in the heart, but I cannot shoot. It's forbidden. Why? I'm not quite sure, but apparently it is. And we open fire and hope for the best. It's a really a sniper rifle, but I'm so unsure about the ammo situation. So we keep it in reserve for emergency measures. Oh, well, never mind. I've probably been detected. <laughs> okay. There we go. A couple of hand shots and it takes care of some problems back here, I'm hoping. Okay, they also disintegrate into the Mark Vili. Why do? Because the, uh, the engine should be capable of handling uh, more bodies, you know? Ah, what do I know? <laughs> okay. Uh, fantastic. They gave us some ammo. And they have set up some tents back here, but isn't that nice of them? Okay, we can at least do some scouting. I think I'm satisfied with that for now. Even if we don't want to fire. Yeah, I think we have three shots per magazine. And we don't start out with a full magazine for the sniper anyway, by the looks of it. So I'm a conservation will be kind of important once more. As is finding the path, presumably. I guess I've already been detected. Yes, 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 of course I have. <laughs> Switch weapons, you idiot. Thank you. Very slowly. Yeah, these were the people, the saboteurs on the ship, are making themselves a nuisance. Okay, what is that? Uh, apparently it's a port. Wow, the first aid kit, really? Wow, the very first aid kit we've been seeing in the entire campaign. Really? I cannot believe it. These things actually do exist. Wow, that's a miracle. And of course the enemies and only the enemies use those. Yeah, of course they would. I don't think it really helps with visibility, uh, at least not the whole lot. Oh, hello there, friends. Yeah, uh, you can try that, but I switch weapons very awkwardly, looking in the sky. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Great, okay. Um, you are down now. Okay, she's a little bit annoyed, of course. But I can shoot you the unprotected legs, right? <laughs> of course I can. Uh, am I being hit with mortar fire? Uh, sounds like the part, really. Okay, so I need to be careful. Yes, I think it's mortar fire. So we better keep moving then, presumably. Yeah. 
Nope, of course not. So we have to find another way around now and somewhere another without getting blasted by artillery constantly. Uh, is it scalable? Well, maybe. Not quite. So where are we going then once again? For here? Okay, maybe it's a path we can take. I don't think it looks the part, but maybe it's possible. It was never going to be easy, of course. Yeah, it's a little bit too dark and the textures are very dark indeed, so it looks all the same to me, frankly. And you can excuse this for a soldier because it was a low budget title released in 2000, but maybe they should have... Yeah, well, okay. No need to test the game developers, but I think it's slightly too hard to see. In with night vision. Okay, so we made it past the front gate. Of course, they have a sensor system, so our presence is most assuredly known, is it not? Okay, it's the point. What's that does? Ja, yeah, so Mortar Fire, I think. So, well, hopefully we can fight these Mortars and silence them. Once and for all. I said once and for all, thank you. <laughs> okay, this thing is fully automatic. I need to keep this in mind. Don't have to... Yeah, hello there. We have some Botch Towers. Okay, it's a former colony. So, they have just reappropriated some of these buildings. Makes sense when you think about it. Man, can you please die already, you fucking idiot up here? Yeah, we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm almost out of juice, but the compression rifle is pretty energy efficient by all accounts. Yes, I know I could use the sniper rifle, but I'm so scared about the ammo situation, so I'd rather not, you know. Yeah, shoot him in the legs, the shields don't do anything back here, huh? <laughs> Fancy dodge throw there, my friend. Um, Fili. I think the, uh, the shield shouldn't protect the uh, legs too, right? Shouldn't it? But apparently it does sometimes. Oh, it's probably the problem with the hitboxes, I would presume. <laughs> okay. At least they're pretty generous on the presumably last level, I would think. Okay, I can see my friends. So why don't we try out the sniper rifle just for funsies? I don't think going prone, or I well, cannot go prone, but going crouched in case accuracy by any meaningful measure. Yeah, stand still there, friend, please. I said, stand still there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a single shot rifle, Willi. Why would we have a single shot energy sniper rifle? The world wonders, presumably, right? Okay, this is for the arc Arcverter, so these can try that. The sniper will be kept in reserve. Someone was yelling from some place, but I didn't see it, I'm sorry. I don't think, oh, hello there, but I don't think we can bypass the shields, although it works sometimes. Yeah, I really have more to support and I have nothing. Also, I managed to cripple the Enterprise, the flagship of the Federation, so always keep moving because of these. Yeah, yeah, okay, so fantastic. Who's the mortar guy? Comes from over here someplace, does it not? I'm not sure from where they're launching it from, no idea. Why am I getting burned? <laughs> oh, it's toxic, of course it will be toxic. Really, they're using chemical weapons against me, really? Okay, a mixture of explosive uh, shells and also some uh, chemical gas. Okay, that's fantastic. Straight out of the First World War, of course. Oh, fucking yeah. idiot. <laughs> what do you mean? No! You will goddamn die. If it's the last thing I do here with my ammo capacity, right? So, fantastic. Sorry for getting a little bit salted here. Yeah? Oh, I really want to switch to the rifle, but the game doesn't make it easy, so... <laughs> but at least, uh, the arc weapon has a delicate hotkey, so it's something. Maybe they need forward observers for the motor, but why would they? That doesn't make much sense. I'm not sure we have the range, but they can certainly try that. I'm not sure we even connect any shots. Doesn't look like it, frankly. Of course it doesn't. <laughs> Ja, das wird wie Riesen, of course. Ja, also Frauen troops, I think some place, maybe. Der Kim for starters. Okay. Maybe I should just, ja, uh, yeah, ja, yeah, I think I should just use the sniper rifle for this. Why should I? I mean, it's a human. Und I to be specific what type of fire arm we have not used uh, ourselves every door. Okay, but I'm less convinced about the utility of the uh, scope. 
I think the optical zoom in the first game was a lot more useful and also available for every weapon, even the basic phaser. And I think I'd rather have that again. Yeah, these are just for the arc weather, right? And nothing else. That's a little bit unfortunate. And some secrets without be yeah. <laughs> Did I hit that? I'm not quite sure, but apparently I did. So the fire has been silenced at least temporarily, that's something. Okay, so finally a bridge we can actually cross. And we better get going before we get stuck on here. Wow, never mind. Okay, wow. Stop him! Mm -hmm. We do it like what? I've noticed that the uh, yeah the uh crates are a bit uh underwhelming, they're only good for set pieces, like blow open the door, whatever. Okay, I think the arc weather maybe the superior weapon in this case. Okay, interesting. I think we should probably get key off them before we move on. Just uh, to be on the safe side. I would just use the phaser, I would think. Apparently, we already blew them all up. Interesting. So, I can barely see anything, but apparently, we are moving on to a very large structure. Heavily protected, of course. Ja, yeah, gives a point. Ja, yeah, I can't stay here. Wow, they don't really care about friendly fire, apparently. <laughs> wow, if you want to take care of things uh, that way, be my guest, I suppose. This door is locked tight, of course. And I already, you idiot, you're getting kind of annoying. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so, I think it's been predetermined already here with the calculations. So, we need to keep moving at all times and find a proper path. If you can find a proper path, of course, because I have no idea where I'm going. But this light is clue. I mean, it's inside here, I get that, but still, is there any weakness? Well, we can whip out the tricorder. Structural integrity doesn't give us anything right. Of course, the tricorder view isn't perfect. Sometimes, uh, they're leaving out the crucial details. Okay, wow, well, the motor must be stationed over here somewhere. Yeah, this will never open for any reason whatsoever, especially not for us. Okay, not through here then, so maybe under the... <laughs> what? Did I uh, sprain my ankle? Maybe I did? How is that sensible there? Oh, then I will have to see you in a second. Oh, you cannot be serious with this. <laughs> you cannot be serious with this. Uh, Alright, would you believe me if I were to tell you that these people with the mortar um, actually fire this thing one-handed. It's not a motor emplacement someplace, actually just someone standing on top of the bridge, shooting this thing one-handed at B. Yeah, if you were to believe this. <laughs> well, okay, I think even in the future that would be a little bit too much for one human to handle. Yeah, it's these people incidentally. These are the motor guys, I think. Okay, well, uh, we have friends to worry about as well. Downstairs. Well, there we go. <laughs> okay, not quite over the edge, but I think I take it. Okay, so they're up here, and of course, uh, we know they will be super lethal, so we have to take them out. I think it was a pair of them. Yeah, I think it's another motor guy. Yeah, we need to find these things one-handed. Even in the future, I cannot believe this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think so. We've seen some pretty heavy ordnance uh, in the Dominion War, for instance, right? Yeah, I think we have. Can I possibly find these things one-handed? Okay, we're also a bit low on juice for our welder gun, unsurprisingly. Because I've been fighting non-stop from the start, since there's no checkpoint in between. Maybe we can finally take a good look around. Yeah, okay. Um, I fell to my doom. There. I really sprained my angle. <laughs> It was just a tiny distance. Okay, so well, uh, at least the water guys are dead, but there will be more of them, presumably. Yeah, I would think at least. Okay, where are we going? Uh, up here, we already checked. Everything was not extremely tight. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Why would this open? I really thought it wouldn't, which is why I didn't check it the uh, first time. Okay. Um, I'll let me speech this back here. That's our checkpoint. Hopefully. Okay, so that means, of course, the upgrader uses a different type of battery. But maybe the rifle and, most importantly, the sniper rifle can be a little bit more useful. Depending on what you can see here, of course. Uh, I did not see. That's a tight hallway. Ah, uh, double bit stuck back here, right? Am I not? Okay, this is only the first line of defenses, I guess, from this side. Probably. 
und hast du Räder, das ist ja HD, so was geht's ja gerst. Ja, seht. Ein beide, wenn ihr da okay abbaut. Okay, äh, ja, 35 as you've seen. Okay, wer ist das Guy? Over hier. Im See him very well. Ja, der wie groß sieht der Fight, das fängt von Handed. Unbelievable. <lacht> Down right, unbelievable. Und der uh, most literal sense of the word. Ja, das, da wo du die Hotkey Bullshit ist wie die anderen, frankly. Wie die Max, die entire uh, Rifle slash Shotgun completely ineffective. Because I cannot uh, switch on the fly, of course. Ich brauche auch die Dead Ones, aber so ein Unfailing, presumably. <lacht> okay, so, ähm. Um, I guess it's the way to proceed. Probably. Maybe not. Oh, of course we need to do this, right? Okay, I did see another guy with an uh, mortar, so we should probably take him out before we even do anything else if I can find him. Okay, I can see a crate, and there's someone moving back here. I can barely see it. At least we have a momentary peace and quiet. Yeah, there is someone back here, but I just can't see anything, even with the scope. It's a pretty crappy scope then, right? Ja, yeah, this guy. Okay, so was du vor wem? So, wie du was ich sagte, Lower the Bridge. Well, okay, if that's what man ruft, wants to do wie zwei da hat. Ah, oh, okay, it's another modulation puzzle. So, wie zwei auch best hier. Ja, wir gehen. Was ist das? Was ist das? Okay, aber apparently wir müssen modulieren multiple uh, patterns. That's uh, first, I think. Not quite a match, apparently. Ah, ja, wir gehen. And then we extend the bridge, in which we, uh, again. Oh, something has been extended someplace. I hope we can find it. <laughs> I'm very worried about this motor dudes because they kill me like two shots if I stand still, which uh, hopefully won't happen too often. Well, I would assume it's over here someplace wide, but uh, how do I get over here remains to be seen? This is certainly not scalable or jumpable. Next time around, we bring a jetpack, I guess. Yeah, this video really underwhelming. And we can't use night vision at the same time as you can see. Or maybe we can. Oh, maybe we can indeed. Well, that's interesting. But regardless, it's a bit too dark to see anything of use back here. Okay, so we have restored power, so now we can press this lovely button, maybe. And the ancient machinery springs to life. And yeah, there was someone over here, right? So if I can find him, that would be great. Before I get a border shell up on top of me by one guy finding this thing one-handed. <laughs> I still can't believe this. Oh, a secret back here. Well, we need to collect 70 starships as a reminder to unlock all the secret levels. So that's never going to happen. 70, really? Does it include starships as well as these uh, supply caches? I'm not sure about that. I mean, they probably have a button on the other side as well, don't they? There we go. She doesn't say if you're my friend. Yeah, punch is right through them. Oh, do we have to go down below? I sure hope not. It's a long drop. Yeah, see, this door looks exactly the same, but this one incidentally doesn't open, so... Oh, wait, that's lovely. Ah, uh, yeah, fantastic. It's a lovely day on this planet. I mean, considering this has been here for thousands of years, no one has discovered this in the meantime. I mean, it's not really buried underground or anything in between. Maybe this planet was not uh, too important. But the class M planets, they are in a short supply, I think, at least uh, canonically speaking. Oh, guess who was here over here? Guess who was here? Oh, okay, the switch weapons are very easily bite, so we use the sniper rifle at point blank range. There we go, it's a bit of a waste of ammo, presumably, but I guess I guess, can it be helped? Yeah, the switch weapons are very slowly. This door also doesn't open. There's a little cupboard to be had here. So, by the way, we have multiple secrets <laughs> next to each other. Okay, this is a shadow. Okay, so we have reached uh, the former docking area. Ja, 
Yeah, got it in the no video, you're not dead yet. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Yeah, just shoot him in the yeah, just shoot him in the spine, shoot him in the back. That's always the honorable thing to do. Yeah, it's a fucking water guy back here somewhere, right? So where is it? <laughs> Where is this guy? Back here, that's not him. The shaking. Oh, I almost fall off of course. Where is this guy back here? Okay. I can barely see anything. It's right over the wall because indirect fireworks for both parties. Yeah, back here, I just can't see him. And you're getting mighty annoying, this, sir. Yeah, so I'm just throwing away my health because I cannot proceed back here, right? Okay, this is a no show. Do we need to use this? No, we don't. Oh, of course we. <laughs> what? So, fantastic, I wasted all of my health. Before we can do this, we need to take care of this guy. And let me guess, uh, we have to do this from coming from the other side. And I cannot know these things in advance, because it... <laughs> handrails? They're ancient, we don't use handrails. Okay, so, yeah, this guy is over the ridge someplace wide, which is why I cannot get a beat on him with the sniper rifle. And this is certainly not a coincidence. It's certainly not a coincidence. So I have to kill this era first, and then I can send over there like an idiot with my three-quarter at hand. Ah, whatever, I just thought about switch weapons. <laughs> okay, you need to be gonna first. That would be great, because over here it's a kill zone if I don't. Just can't see anything. Yeah, fantastic, right? Okay, quickly switch weapons before they arrive. Yeah, we go, couple of headshots, takes care of business around here. Okay, so well, we know what to do now, I'm hoping. Hopefully. Okay. Fantastic, man, die already, you got it. Yet. <laughs> Next target, immediately steps up to the plate. I know this next was. Oh, wow, well, all you could do is for us, all this works, I suppose. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not the mortar guy. So he's back here someplace. Oh, you, I just cannot shoot them. I cannot shoot them. You saw that. There's no angle to get them whatsoever, not in the slightest. I'm back here. I have to stand around with a tricolor like an idiot. He's right for the shields, maybe. I should hope it does. Wow, no scope. Oh, hello there. So, where's the other guy? Where's the other guy? <laughs> he must be over here someplace on my right, I think, right? Yeah, over here, right. Okay, keep moving and shoot him. Hopefully, there's no one shooting him in the back right now. You idiot here. You will perish. I would like to put a bayonet in you, but of course, I can't right now. Okay, someone else shooting. Someone else blasting over here. Okay. Where are you? Can I see you? <laughs> okay, they're just hitting some old structures. Because they don't really care about their own uh, artifacts, I guess. Okay, over here, someplace. Okay, where's that guy? Back here. Okay. That was the last mistake you ever made, you fucking idiot. And now we have to come back here and extend the bridge, I think. Probably pretty likely. There's at least only my opposition on this side. And we need to preserve the rest of the ammo because we're not getting any refills for the Federation issue firearms very often. And don't fall off again, you idiot. That would also be great. Okay, there we go. Now we full refill for our uh, sniper rifle, I think. Maybe we can also search the shuttle for some supplies. I mean, it should be a full of supplies. I think it's a little bit too small for what we saw in the space battle right around the colony. Yeah, this thing, right? We have to interact with. Modulating. So, underwater fight, that's not going to happen. And we modulated this for what purpose exactly? I'm not sure. But it's probably not optional, but figure. It did not extend the... Oh, it did. Wow, interesting. Yeah, this one of the Eidre shuttles, I think. I think I take it. Okay, so boss has a bit of a resupply point and then hidden starship, of course. Oh, isn't that lovely? The bridge is, of course, still locked tight. Uh, where's the keep fob? Okay, so far so good. So it was optional, but having some ammo for the arc where that's always appreciated. I mean, we still haven't reached the main structures. 
Weil it looks slightly fancy as you before. But then again, Hendrius? You would trip over this here before <laughs> anything else. That's kind of uh, strange. And none of the watchtowers, by the way, are accessible from the bottom. I did check, so they're beaming in people back here. And Oshad, of course, is completely direct now. Yeah, this is just a kill zone, right? Yeah, speed of it, it's a kill zone. And then I fall off and die immediately, or maybe not. Oh. I scan the horizon, but they do nothing whatsoever. And there we go. Wow, he look pretty ugly there, friend. Pretty ugly indeed. Okay, we'll the sniper rifle with figure. It's a Leviathan. Also, it's pretty ugly. I think we still have a grenade launcher. Not sure how effective it will be against the beast. Never mind the problem of getting upstairs again. <laughs> Or the other mortar guys. Really? So it's an arena, a trap against invaders like me, probably. <laughs> okay, so we have plenty of friends to play with now, and the grenade launcher of course just like crazy. Then we can take care of at least the one fellow. Yeah, now it's empty of course, well that's fantastic. How do you like phaser burns? I'd rather preserve uh, any other ammo right now. The idea here, <laughs> so we've lived off an interesting engagement. Yeah, he doesn't like that very much, so we inflict some nasty and painful burns on Wuping. And then I get some acid thrown in my face. Maybe these are uh, the descendants of uh, the Exomorphs, you know, the Augusto Template. Could be, well, if we can take a closer look, then maybe. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I see the transformation. So, fantastic. Yeah, I think it's like a beast fighting arena. There's the bridge or whatever's left of it. Yeah. I would love motors on top of me right now if I were one of those people. Especially after the creatures have failed so miserably to take me out. Oh, we get ourselves captured so again. We are taking you to Crindo. Right, of course. Maybe next time I won't take a teammate with us, you know, just saying. Uh. Would have been smart, maybe. Your hazard team has been captured. And now you are my hostage. If your captain won't trade you for clear. Really? It's all about that female, your girlfriend? I thought it was because we destroyed uh, all these civilian damage the facility on the original mission there. Really? It's all about your girlfriend? That's, that's really all? I just cannot believe this. I'm sorry. I'm completely flabbergasted here. Yeah, I don't think it's essential to the crew. I'm sure Captain Picard can arrange that. She's not a vital member of the crew. Good. Now I no longer have time for you. I have an empire to restore. Ah, dreaming of an empire. Okay. Uh, all right. Um. You know, we are no position to negotiate. I know that Safi doesn't necessarily negotiate with terrorists, but still, I think there would be some leeway, wouldn't there be? Okay. Uh, right? That's unexpected. Uh, your hazard team but has been how does it make us any more valuable if we hostage. use the other answer? If your captain won't trade you for clear, you'll die. Well, we die either way regardless, I would think. So, <laughs> there aren't any other options, so... <laughs> ever. We don't trade hostages. Then you can die. Where's my team? I care more about myself right now. That's another difference between us. I care about my entire race. Just not your father. What are you talking about? He's on Taravar 7. 
Stop the attack now, or you'll kill him with the rest of the planet. He'd never go to Taravar 7. Too bad we can't contact your father through the electrical storm. You'll have to come to the Enterprise to learn the truth. Ah, but we can. Our comm system is linked to a cloaked communications array in orbit. I'll contact his communicator, but he won't answer because he's not on Taravar 7. Well, rent er mit den Zelt mit Person. Crindle, is that you? Father? Please stop. Please spare this planet, I beg you. If you won't stop the killing for the Atrexians, will you stop for me? But we've won. They're just outside this room. I can hear them. Chewing. Oh, no. No! Goodbye, son. Please, forgive me. No, wait. I'll stop. I'll stop them. Uh, son? Send the stop signal. I did! My Exomorph commands don't work. Make them work. Stop. Why don't you stop? Let me out, I'll help you. <laughs> the Exomorphs have now turned against you. I don't understand! Let me out of here, or they'll get you too. I don't deserve to live. Listen to me, Crindo. <laughs> you What? can't bring your father back. But you can help us stop the killing. Now take down this force field, and I'll get us out of here. Tell your troops to keep my team alive. We'll meet them as soon as I get you out of here. And have them prepare one of your shuttles, now! I'm going to set the manual destruct sequence from here. You must get out of the facility immediately. No! You're coming with me! I don't want to see anyone else die. You must go ahead. This is the only way to destroy the facility. Don't worry about me. I will meet up with you at the lift to the surface. Now go! Uh, uh, hold on for a second. Uh, so, yeah, the answer, what was the difference? Okay, Rick, all this is still a job to do, of course, but then again, what an extra heck. Oh, hello there. Do we have, uh, okay, we do have a couple of weapons still. All of them, but either way. Escape the facility, very important. Uh, let me guess there's a hidden timer some players. There probably is, right? Okay, so hello there, friend. So the Exomorphs have uh, turned against their masters again. Maybe don't give the weapons next time around. Could be a smart idea, just saying. Can I jump this? I should hope so. <laughs> okay, wow, I cannot really... Let's just look around while we have to keep moving now. And hope that we can blast our way through these uh, hordes of Exomorphs. Yeah, these can fly naturally. Okay, so, wow, um... Uh, hopefully there aren't any security systems in our way. That would be swell. Oh, gas traps or anything else that could slow us down. Or doors and opening or anything in between. Ja, these facilities look pretty similar to what we witnessed in the other colony. I have to say that Krenno doesn't make for a very convincing villain. I really thought it was all about the other facility, but then again, it was all about his girlfriend. <laughs> It's the worst motivation I've ever seen for a villain in any video game I've played in recent memory. It just doesn't make any sense, I'm sorry. Well, this guy is Taurus, but he deserves it, I would think. Yeah, well, what can I do? Hope for the best. I mean, I can only keep running, right? The force fields will uh, collapse eventually. Never mind all these self-destruct charges. Oh, yeah, it's a basher. <laughs> it's a basher, I know. Oh, oh that's interesting. Okay, well, he bashed me, but thankfully not off the rails, which is uh, at least something. Okay, um, right, so it's interesting. Almost unaware we could even path over here. What is that noise? Sound is very angry, I would think. It's an annoying sound, though. Okay, I suppose it takes more than one shot. <laughs> We are completely out. <laughs> okay, right, maybe the Arc Rider will do something against him. If I can get a beat on him for exposing myself so badly. 
Ja, die Eier schon wenigstens auf Feiring, äh, für den Fall für den Night of Fire. Alle weiß ja, dass die Rüse in der Same Animation und das Same Sound effekt gestern mit Obnoxious Frank W. Was ist auch so lauter weit? Okay, so ein paar Ollies People are dead. Once again, they deserve it, I would think. And this is the Marcus Roster on my minimap. For good reason, I would think. Ja, weil die auf Riesen bleiben, ist kein Important right now. So, die added aus der Stilock Tide, I would think. Of course, they are. But always keep an eye on other areas and collapsing proportions. And it's a fancy growing pattern for this tree. Ja. <lacht> Great. How long wird es, äh, äh, not very long is the answer. Okay, about well, there we go. I missed my jump because my drop wants to get refused to jump. I had the jump key pressed, but as is customary in this game, it just doesn't work sometimes. That's always nice. No, that's not my fault. So, we'll kiss a kiss. Yeah, we go with some uh, rifle grenades. It's energy, but it's still rifle grenades. Oh, okay, it's so fantastic. Well, this is nowhere to go. This is for this portion. And they have to do more precision platforming. Yeah, it hurts if the grenade uh, comes point blank right, right in the face. <laughs> yeah, these are dangerous, I know, but these are pretty dangerous. Yeah, back should not be as armored, but they don't care about there. It's a rifle grenade. Are you ready? Thank you very much. Okay, we should be able to get at least then refused or top off or something like this. Yeah, there's still some juice, which is nice. So the compression rifle once again is the most energy efficient weapon we have. Yeah, but we don't get out of the ready this time around, that would be slow. Oh, maybe it gives us an edge, could be. I mean, the sniper rifle, technically speaking. So far, we are not close enough for them yet. That is unfortunate. Yeah, there we go. I don't get bashed again, that would be slow. But of course, he has a friend. And I've noticed that the force leader is also, uh, yeah, we come offline, so we can fall off pretty easily. So maybe outside, we're also supposed to be some force fields. Ah, to have this light on power, it's uh, probably better sign. If the hand rate would suffice. Fence and things in between the door, but of course it needs to be powered. And the force sphere takes how many gigawatts? <laughs> the anti type facility. Yeah, how much it did. Again, fusion reactors, I suppose, uh, cheap energy, almost free energy. Maybe we have to get up here, actually, it could also be, who knows? Maybe it's necessary detour. And speaking of necessary detours, why don't we see what happens if we blow up some of those crates? If they are even destructible, who knows? Ah, apparently not. Interesting, but I see the ledge up here, but how do we get over here remains to be seen. Yeah, so all of these are uh, locked tight, right? Structure integrity doesn't tell us anything. Also, I would like to investigate what's going on on top. But of course, we have other priorities right now because technically speaking, the, uh, the self-destruct is still operational, right? It's still taking down, as the speaker would presume. Give me the rifle. I said to me the rifle. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, let me guess we are under attack at the same time. That would be pretty reasonable expectation. So maybe this time around we don't miss our jumping uh, puzzle. We almost did again, didn't we? Um... I'm not sure, does this work? I mean, this under ledge, maybe it's a better alternative. Yeah, I set up in the same way as the other facility. So there are some similarities uh, we can count on. Temporarily, at least for the most part. Yeah, for the maintenance workers, but I think they had the extra boss uh, to do all the maintenance stuff, right? With very little supervision. Um, I don't want to fall off, ideally. 
Ja, das wird happen, wenn wir die Frost hier was und da ist. Okay, you got the PD. Das ist die Funny Dad, that would be swell. Got the best as man. I think the movement is still more annoying, the all accounts. Weil haben wir eben Rendezvous gefilmt, bringen to justice later on. Also muss we can deliver justice, you know, the Hazard Team Way. Okay, it's pitch black dark. Ja. <lacht> okay, so, the something dropped down on me. And right now. But it's of course a uh, uh, trapdoors, aren't they? Ja, ist so fett, du kannst man hier weiter probieren. Ja, diesmal open wide zu Trapdoor von diesem. Ey, der auch ready! The fucking Trick of Nature. <lacht> Ja, der will kommen von vorher. Ich glaube, wir nicht das Light Fixtures. Der will nicht auf der Bashers in das Mission weiter und der. Ja, wir go. Okay, anything else? Probably. Okay, das könnte mit die Elevator. Maybe. Something is operational on the far side of the room. I'm not sure what it could be, possibly, but I'm supposed to check it out. Yeah, this is something about the Empire. Okay, but how did they fall from grace that badly? Genau, der Vessel State of an Underdeveloped Minor Race in die Alpha Quadrant. Who knows? Of course, nothing was explained, but this I guess. I don't trust this creaky elevator. But the part we have no options. And that's the end of the line for us already. That's unfortunate. Yeah, this bread on the shotgun is outrageous even for a couple of meters away. <laughs> yeah. Oh god damn it, man. How many more of those things can be in the facility? Quite a few is the answer probably. I couldn't care less about the Idro Vinny, they deserve what uh, came to them. I would shoot a Grando if it was up to me, but of course it would be unbecoming of a Starfleet officer to execute without a trial. Yeah, because. <laughs> that's moved him around just a tiny bit sometimes. Why doesn't it? Okay, some juice, that's lovely. Quite badly, of course, and this is for the Arc Verda, so it's a different type of power station. Okay, uh, I'm sure we can maybe arc this a little bit with the grenade launcher. Maybe, we try that, could be interesting. What was that? What? How? <laughs> Okay, Crisis has been averted, so we try out the Arcvader for a little bit. Okay, anything else to worry about? Hopefully not. Uh, lifts are easy to operate, even alien lifts. Really? It's a little bit of a gas flame. Or maybe it's just for aesthetics could be. I mean, the other elevator did lead to the top uh, floor wide, so why is it uh, well, requiring us to step off here? Not quite sure, because it's more, well, cinematic, I guess. 
Who knows? Okay, uh, there could be better by every single door, of course. Just waiting for the opportunity to strike. Um, it looks like only one of us is getting out of here. Take cover. What was that? A stalker. It can phase shift. Oh, great. Fantastic. More surprises you need to share with me? A stalker, huh? Okay, um. Okay, well, I feel a bit underprepared. They can phase shift, which means they can teleport. Right. Okay, a uh, stalking in the sense of cloaking. Is he dead? Uh, probably not, right? No. <laughs> uh, I don't think uh, we have anything to go by. Oh. Or maybe it's probably soon. That's interesting. So night vision is not always an asset as you would think. Um, how does it even satisfy the needs for, you know, beasts of burden? That looks like a warrior, nothing else. Yeah, this looks like a weapon of war. You cannot excuse this away here, Credo. Must be your creation there, presumably. <laughs> well, it would uh, be sensible that the former Empire, given how hostile they seem to be, that they also use these exomorphs as a weapon of war. In various flavors. To even build the Empire. These things are pretty fast. I believe the sniper rifle, that's your choice there, game, for automatic weapon switching. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Apply the coolie grass with my phaser. I think I like it. I successfully rerouted power to the lift control mechanism. Let's get out of here. Yeah, and I'm trying. Either way, you want to kill me anyway, didn't you? What's if the sun change of heart? Yes, I know why, but the dialogue and the entire sequence didn't make any sense. This guy is obviously mentally unstable. Um, uh, do I need to press the button? No, it's just time delayed. Let me guess if no safety protocols whatsoever. Well, that was quite something. I mean, I don't mind uh, fighting my way through an ancient facility, but the dialogue we saw there, that was the cutscene, I mean, to be specific. It's such a downgrade from Elite Force 1. Yeah, coming back to the scene of the crime, so to speak. Hopefully we have a pretty beefy security team waiting for him. We need to know why the facility powered up after you shut it down. Crindo? Nothing matters. He's dead. We must see to it that no one else dies. He's dead and I killed him. Your self-pity may get many more killed. I don't know why it powered up again. That's what you said about the behavioral regulators. I didn't command it to kill my father. Then who did? Other Idril. Impossible. They don't even know about the Master Control Facility. The what? Somewhere in this sector is a planet with the Master Control Facility. It has the power to override all the others. But we never discovered its location. Who knew about it? Just my father and myself. And Omag. Omag! He must have deciphered the location. Omag the Ferengi? We've had dealings with him. He funded our work. We knew he was exploiting the priceless artifacts of our people for profit, but it was the only way. Omag, he betrayed me. 
and killed my father. Will you help us find him? Gladly. Tell me what I have to do. Contact him. Tell him you have found a planet far greater than the Master Control Facility. Tell him you need his help to dig it up. We always met in a rundown starbase in the Jadaf system. It's run by an old Klingon arms trader named Lurok. Lieutenant, I want you to use Krindo to set a trap for Omag. Take Ensign Gonzalez to assist you. Come on, Krindo. You're gonna call Omag from your shuttle. Why? He'll be suspicious if you call from a Federation frequency. I'll need to repair my shuttle's comm system. Picard to Lieutenant Barclay. Meet Krindo and Lieutenant Monroe in Shuttle Bay 2 and help Krindo repair ah, his of course, I'm um, the engineer. System. Of course. Aye, yeah. It's custom made to do everything myself for the most part. How is Clea? She's doing well. All things considered. She's adjusting to life on the Enterprise. Right. Okay, so from Greedy Ferengi to Mass Murderer, that's quite a leap there, friends. Most Ferengi aren't that scrupulous, they don't do everything and, uh, yeah, for profit. They don't kill hundreds of people, usually. It's a very rare occurrence. Right on time. Crindo, can you help me with this positional stabilizer? I have a newer one in my spare parts. Monroe, this may take a while. I'll let you know when we're done. No supervision, Billy. No security guard. If <laughs> what? Clear to Monroe. Go ahead. Yeah, hello there. Come by my quarters. Oh, quarters, of course. Okay, so Billy, no supervision. Uh, is there anyone back here keeping watch on these two people? I mean, Alex. What is it, Telsia? Hey, find me later. Maybe we can talk. Okay, so we have our ex-girlfriend and our current love interest, presumably, competing with each other. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Um, right. Well, it's a really fleshed out, right, because uh, in this game we operate solo for the most part, like uh, 90% of the time, so it's even any time to bond with our teammates, especially the newer ones. Uh, and why do we have a choice? Can we not talk to both of them at the same time, or separately, or yeah, one after another? It doesn't make any sense, frankly, but I think we shouldn't get involved with aliens any longer, even though she has been very friendly with us. Probably too friendly. Why is there the Enterprise E logo on the lift controls? Ah, I don't question things any longer. With Krindo's help, it should take us a little time to fix this communications system. There really is no security guard in here. Wasn't it not my job? Sure, let's just talk to our girlfriends. Why not? <laughs> okay, now it's just a matter of getting uh, out of here, of course. Yeah, but there must be a turbolift access someplace. Sorry I let you down, Monroe. Next time I'll make a softer landing, I promise. Hmm, that wasn't exactly your fault. Good thing we have a couple of spare shuttles, don't we? Who knew that finding a way out of the shuttle bay would be such a hard thing to do already? Oh, maybe for here, okay, that would be the answer, I would figure. Oh, I'd rather use the ladder than the lift, <laughs> though it's more dangerous, arguably. Okay, there we go. This leads to the other side. I'm not going to sure recover that shuttle. I think there's one empty bay now, isn't it? I think so, at least. What is it? Ja, yeah, uh, nothing right now, Lieutenant. Yeah, it says meet me, but where? She didn't say. In your quarters, presumably. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Yeah, we are busy staying at the board, of course. Okay, shuttle bay, cargo bay. I guess uh, it's not our concern right now. Yeah, maybe there could be a no. Of course, there's no secret. <laughs> so bow down with our empty cargo bay. Hazard crew quarters. Hazard crew quarters. Okay, they're all on the same deck, incidentally. I mean, uh, our girlfriend uh, broke up with us at the academy over an argument. They said something offensive, apparently. Of course, relationships in the future are still complicated. I think it's foolish for the captain to trust Crindo, considering yeah, what isn't it? Done. That's probably a little strong. From what I heard, the hazard team is going to keep him on a short leash. Huh. Leash or no, he orchestrated an attack on the Enterprise. He controls an army. We're just letting him go. I think you're misinterpreting things. That attack was ruthless, and several of my friends are still in sick bay. Sick bay? I think they're worse off than that. Yeah, so someone someone is questioning things around here. That's a good spirit there, uh, Ensign or Lieutenant, whatever your rank there was. 
Ja, yeah, so okay. I'm not the only one looking for the holes in the plot, which is nice. That's kind of reassuring. Hi, Telsia. Glad you made it. You've been very busy lately. Yeah, I've had a lot of research. With the Idril woman. You sound jealous. You sound afraid. Afraid? Of what? Of us. Look, I realize we haven't had a lot of time to reconnect since I've been on the Enterprise. It's not that. It, it's the Dallas. The Dallas? When I walked onto that death ship and saw the bodies, and when I learned you didn't make it to the safety of the station... What? Telsia, I thought you were dead. We risked death together all the time in the Delta Quadrant. But I never saw you dead. That's so hard to take? Me appearing dead? No. You being alive. Explain that. Telsia, I am so grateful that you're alive that I can't even think about losing you again. Oh. Right, that was um, nice of us to reconnect again. Of course, um, we shouldn't be all the other team white if we are lovers uh, once more. I mean, uh, I've already mentioned this, didn't I? Especially if you're a superior officer. That's a big no-no. Team in Starfleet. It's a good thing you convinced Crindo to help us. I don't think Sid would have made it much longer. Hmm, probably not, yes. But I'm still very suspicious of his uh, motivations. And so should you. And also be caught incidentally. I think he already made a crippling mistake in this campaign, didn't he? Almost got Lieutenant the ship destroyed. Monroe, I have a new toy to show you. Mm -hmm, I'm all ears here. So back to the turbulent we go because it's evidently on the other deck. Decade armory. Yeah, right to the point there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, did we get romantically involved with that alien uh, friend of screen someplace? Because uh, the dialogue didn't imply as much did it though. But I'm not going to work for this, forget about this. Oh. What's the deal? We've replaced a photon burst with a quantum burst weapon. Yeah, of it course. It uses micro quantum torpedoes. You can test it in the new Hollow program. Yeah, Quantum is this blue, right? <laughs> you should really disintegrate these people with one shot, possibly. Okay, I would suppose we don't get too much juice for that thing. Probably not, right? So what's the old fire? We don't have an old fire. Oh, I think it's homing. Okay, of course they revoked all the firearms between these two games. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's a heavy weapon, I get that. Ja, yeah, ist taken straight from the multiplayer, I think, right? Capture the flag and all. Of course, it's a matter of finding these uh, holograms here to shoot. There is no holomatch in this game, of course, because the body items is there, I get. <laughs> okay, apparently, they have the same fire arm we do. Really, that didn't kill him. Did I see him correctly? He got a quantum torpedo right on the sky and he didn't perish. Hope I wasn't seeing things. <laughs> Oh, he really isn't dead, right? He really isn't dead. Okay, it's an interesting weapon, but I think I uh, find the weapon in the first game a little bit more convincing in terms of feedback. Almost as good as a Klingon. Ah, uh, but I think we improved it ever so slightly. Thank you very much. Barkley to Monroe, we're finished. We can transmit now. Oh, he's still alive. That's a miracle. I was expecting the worst, frankly. So he never have a chance to be on the Hazard Team, right? Probably. Hello, Lieutenant. Do you require medical assistance? I'm glad you were able to arrange for Sydney to be transported back to the Enterprise. She was in bad shape. Alright, apparently these people praise us for some achievements. 
If nothing else. Of course, Tuvok was a bit different in the other game, right? Wasn't he? Uh, yeah, the break. It <laughs> was embodied for a reason, right? And it was correct, evidently. Deck 7, Shuttle Bay. I mean, a Ferengi turned mass murderer. I don't think it would be that easy to figure out. No, not really. Why? These people are cowards. They don't kill for pleasure or for profit, really. I mean, even they have their limitations. Yeah, I think they do. I find it hard to believe, frankly. Assuming, of course, he knew exactly what he was doing, because Ferengi are a bit and apt sometimes. Omag is on the Starbase. He's agreed to meet Crindo. Take Crindo's shuttle to the meeting. We're keeping the Enterprise out of range of the Starbase's sensors, so you'll be on your own. Uh, what about the warp core? I'm ready. We ejected the warp core right in. Oh, that the sound effects straight from starting generations. I hear that. <laughs> Apprehend them if necessary, I saw that much at least. Keep the engines hot, Sydney. We may have to leave in a hurry. You got it. Keep your weapons out of sight unless we need to defend ourselves. Hopefully, Omag will come quietly. Okay, Crindo. Let's go to the bar. I could use a drink. Uh, of course, we have to walk there ourselves. Uh, so. Oh, is it neutral station? I think they said a Klingon station. Right, let's be careful. We don't need another diplomatic incident. Under no circumstances should I inspect them. That's strange. Yes. So, of course, I opened them up. And what do I find? Tribbles. Tribbles? You're kidding. So I'm thinking I can't deliver these, but I need the Latinum. You know? So what'd you do? Tribbles do. No. Yes, tastes almost like chicken. I sold the muck to refugees on Ferrius Prime. I gotta remember that one. Only problem is, I got about 10 metric tons of triple hair to get rid of. Hmm, triple hair coats? Maybe. Right now I'm leaning toward triple felt hats. There's a market for those to some of the Romulan merchants that operate near the neutral zone. Yeah. Then again, transfer sure, of, a lot of trading. form is forbidden in Klingon space. Good point. Uh, since when do smugglers care about these things? Maybe the Klingon uh, customs officials are a bit more ruthless, who knows? Who knows, right? Okay, it's a Klingon station. They are allies, yes, but of course we don't want to wait a firefight, did he? Yeah, no kidding. Those little run down. Even the doors don't have a proximity sensor. Hey there. If you are looking to make some fast Latinum, I know a fellow who might be looking for some photon torpedoes. Sure, why not also steal some torpedoes? Excuse me. If you want to live, you will step away from me, human. That's the attitude. I will not trade with them. Some of my best deals have been with Ferengi. Like the deal for the irradiated plasma regulators? How was he to know they came from a damaged Packlet freighter? Or the time Omag sold you the Ferenginar bridge? Eh, I guess you're right. Never really thought about it that way. Of course I am right. You are an ignorant. <coughs> yeah, I'm sure it's a very honorable post there on this ancient space station close to the Andorian border. Greetings. Try the cow. It is so delicious. The blood is clotted and adds a refreshingly metallic taste. Sounds delicious, sir. Thank you. I would try it out because we're heading to the bar anyway, getting us wasted. A practice space? Wait a minute, you're not thinking of my cargo bay. The acoustics are great in there! <laughs> no way. Oh, come on, think of the Latinum we'll make. Yeah, it's always all about the bunny bite. Maybe ask three Frank in here. So, Cantina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we haven't been to see the places in the Star Trek universe very often, have we, though? 
So, let's just set up this meeting. And they probably have to shoot up the entire bar, I would figure. Reminds me a little bit of King God Ondergaard, incidentally. On the Andorian planet. Technically, it was in Klingon planet, but we had plenty of Andorians to play with, of course, including in the bar. Ja, yeah, but I'm seeing things right now. These are not Andorians, though. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think we saw them in Star Trek 5, didn't we? I'm the commander of the transport vessel Kaitan. Ja, yeah, I think he is a little bit absorbed right now. Should not stop him. Yes, indeed. If And now they can. Vessel. Big vessel? The Kaitan is a Wudan class transport vessel. Should I know what that means? And let's just say, it's big. I've outhauled Romulan starships, not just the D-cruisers either. I can carry more cargo than even the big Dideridex class ships. What's the cargo? Only myself, ten transport containers of domesticated Targ, and no questions asked. What's your destination? Didn't I just say no questions asked? I'll provide you with the coordinates after we depart the station. Three thousand latinum in advance, or no deal. Three thousand? We could almost buy a Klingon bird of prey for that. That's obvious, but I think where you're going, you'll need an experienced pilot. I'm sure for that money, we could buy a pilot, too. How about we give you 2,000 now, and another 2,000 when we reach our destination? 4,000 total? Hmm, I could do that. My ship is at your disposal, friend. We will have our cargo ready for transport in one hour. Let's see if we can get a drink before we leave. It might be hard to get Romulan ale where we are going. Make mine a double. Yeah, always getting in there intoxicated, good plan. Yeah, they don't feel like talking. Especially this guy. <laughs> okay, maybe we can pump the bartender for info. Yeah, maybe. Hmm, a Starfleet officer. Yeah. You looking to sell out? Yes, well, why else would we be here? I think we stand out quite a bit wide with our uniform at all. You couldn't handle me. Well, we're here on duty, of course. You know, their aged Romulan ale is just the standard Romulan ale they don't sell right away. Every couple of years, they pump a bunch of it out of storage, they change the label on the bottle, and they sell it for twice the price. Really? That's terrible. It's true. And what's more, it's not all a century old. Some of it's from 150-year-old batches, others from 50-year-old batches. They just mix it all together and they kind of average it out. What a ripoff. We need another round of Romulan Century over here. <laughs> okay, right, okay, whatever. I don't drink booze, so I'm not sure about these final details of uh, how old wine has to be, or whatever. Okay, I suppose the female bartender will give us some information. Nice display there on the counter, lady. Yeah, we stand up like so far. Ha! You have to prove your worth. You'll have to beat our Nosakin friend in melee combat. Oh, sure. Why not? You dare <laughs> trifle with me, Federation? Die! Oh, fantastic. Get him, Monroe! Yeah! Ooh, yeah, right, because I stabbed him, I guess. But can I block, actually? Maybe I can. <laughs> but I technically have personal shields, not I. Do they have dicks? Maybe I can stab him in the coin? That seems like an honorable thing to do. <laughs> I love that I have a cage already built in into this bar. There we go. <laughs> Wow, we don't have to kill him, right, Dubido? Nice job. Here's the code to the VIP room. Come back when you want a job as a bouncer. I don't think it pays very well here, right? Or the stick on station. Okay, the code to the VIP room. Yeah, okay, we didn't kill him, thankfully. I'm telling you, that guy is Ardrek Luxor. Now, why would a famous Ryzen musician be here? I don't know. Maybe he's searching for his next bold new look. Here? On a Klingon starbase? Right. I'll bet he's planning to launch a new fashion trend. Mercenary chic. Fine. I'll bet you 50 latinum that that guy over there is Ardrek Luxor. 50 latinum? You don't have 50 latinum to your name. If you did, yeah, it's kind of loud, actually. you'd be in the gaming hall right now. 
Look, I've got a shipment of Tholian figurines coming in tomorrow. That's worth at least 50 latinum. Figurines? What am I gonna do with 50 latinum worth of Tholian figurines? I'm going to sell them to the Andorians. Then I'll have well more than 50 latinum. <laughs> and why would an Andorian mercenary want to buy Tholian figurines? They don't get them for themselves. They get them as gifts for their wives. They like to display them in cases in their family communal area. Ah, I think I've been inside one of those dwellings. It was truly repulsive. Their women are almost addicted to these things. No matter how many they possess, every time a new type comes out, they immediately desire to obtain it to add to their menagerie. Fine. I'll wager you 50 latinum that this is not Ardrek Luxor. And you'd better not try to pay it off with those hideous figurines. Deal. Now let's go ask him. Okay, where is he? Over the... Where'd he go? I think he left. That's too bad. I was going to see if he wanted to buy some Tholian figurines. Yeah, okay. That was interesting. Mm, that's having a little bit of a nice time. I think we should leave them to their own devices. It's the VIP uh, area, VD. Looks like this crappy and run down. Interestingly enough. The pose is a Klingon space station, so. No surprises, I guess. <laughs> there he is. Walk over to him without looking back at us. <laughs> he looks super suspicious, man. That's the opposite ah, of inconspicuous. Crindo. Sit down, my friend. Yeah, we start with escort. Where did you find this new master control facility? Where'd you find the old one? Goodbye. Sit down, Omeg. Let's keep this friendly. Friendly? The bigger the smile, the sharper the knife. Ferengi rules of acquisition number 48. Sorry, never heard of this master control facility. Okay, so while we have two options, and once again it will probably be the wrong one here, right? <laughs> Um, well, I'm not quite sure about the rules of acquisition incidentally. They could be just made up, of course. Rule 60. Keep your lies consistent. Alright. You caught me in an inconsistency. So here's the truth. I don't know where the master control facility is. Rule 85. Never let the competition know what you're thinking. I don't intend to. And I've never heard of your master control facility. You lying Ferengi! Tell the truth, and they accuse you of lying. Just like Rule 285. No good deed ever goes unpunished. I don't think it's a thing, right? I don't think it's a thing. It's nothing the Ferengi would say. Probably. Seems completely out of character. Ah, uh, wow. Um, once again, I'm not familiar, but apparently, um, Mandro is very familiar with the roots of acquisition. Is it something we need to study as part of the Hazard team? Or maybe we just spent all time with this because it was so boring in the Delta Quadrant? That could also be. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Okay, but that seems like a very good thing to say. How do we know you're telling the truth? Rule 181 says, not even dishonesty can tarnish the shine of profit. Because I don't want to know where it is. If I knew the location of the master control facility, my customer would be afraid I'd sell it again. Why give him incentive to kill me? No! I merely sold Crindo's data from those old ruins and let my customer fiddle about with those star charts to actually find it. But I gave you false data! False data? Now who's the liar? Of course I lied. I'm too smart to trust you, <laughs> but yeah, right, dumb enough right. to trust the shuttle I gave you. Rule 99. Trust is the biggest liability of all. Your shuttle transmitted all the real data to me. <laughs> really? You son of a shuttle on the Ferengi one. We saw those. Never make fun of a Ferengi's mother. Insult something he cares about instead. I'll kill you. No, you won't. Omag, give us the name of your customer and you can go. Rule 76. Every once in a while, declare peace. But war is good for business. Rule 34. And here's another rule. Let's you and him fight. 
Latinum for Federation heads! Right? Is that easy? Gonzalez, stay here with Crindo. Aye, sir. I'll clean up this mess. Yeah. Okay, we follow him, hopefully. No, 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 you're not sending him away, their friend. <laughs> okay, if you want something, then you get something, I guess. <laughs> oh, really? Hi, sir. I'll clean up this mess. Okay, we better take this then, presumably. <laughs> yeah, okay, we try that, I guess. Takes quite a few shots to take them out, of course. Why are we doing this again? We are on the same team, no? We are allies. In back here, we should be allies. Should just open fire on me. Have we still gewonnen? Okay, shotgun is of course uh, useful if the enemy is in channel and uh, yeah, themselves into your kill zone. I don't want the bathlet. I don't think I have one, incidentally. This shotgun is not very good. <laughs> okay. Wow, fantastic. Let's rush the enemy is. Did I do it right as well? Did I see it correctly? I think I did see it correctly right. Okay, lovely. So I took a quantum torpedo to the chest, apparently. That's a delight. Okay, wow. Uh, let me switch fire arms. Let me see what we can do. Do I have a melee weapon? I don't think I do, right? No, I don't. It would be too easy. Yeah, it goes boom. And if it goes boom, even the Klingons fall over sometimes. Okay, we're doing this for a fucking Ferengi, which is on the entire space station. That seems sensible. <laughs> uh, how can we explain that away? Uh, the answer is we cannot. Okay, and the Adorans why though? Yeah, okay, then action out of desperation. Or disbelief, take a pick here. Hi, sir. I'll clean up this mess. Yeah, this guy is very fat, you know. Ja, yeah, so fantastic. I'm, I have to ignore all this fire now. Ja, where did he go? <laughs> I just cannot believe this. He went through the door, right? He went through the fucking door. And he's running like an like an athlete. He's a fat, overweight, a friendly, incidentally. Fat, overweight, friendly. And he can face through the uh, position. I cannot. I get out of the fucking way. Where is he? Back here? <laughs> okay, one more try here. I'm not going to show what I'm doing wrong because this guy just disappears out of line of sight because he's running like an athlete. He's a fucking overweight Ferengi. He doesn't even kill one Klingon before he shot here incidentally. I want you dead, you... What? What? He just, he just faced out of existence! Just face out of existence. <laughs> right in front of my eyes. Wow, well, there's a letter here, evidently. So, we finally managed to get through there. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Okay, so it took a couple more attempts because the opposition, as you would think, is kind of tough around here. Ah, man, unbelievable. So, okay, another lovely little deck here, filled with Klingons, presumably. And how the uh, overweight fat Ferengi can outrun me like an athlete is. Beyond me, because I'm actually exercising as part of the Hazard Team. Unbelievable, man. <laughs> okay. Well, I want to at least chase down this guy today before we call the quits for this recording session, if you don't mind. Scott, right me. Yeah, but it's actually a terror guy, isn't it? <laughs> okay, the lose the grenade launcher, maybe. Okay, hurt someone with a phaser, I think. Yeah, I think I did right. Not very accurate from back here, as I can see, my friend. Oh, I really, no, don't give me the shotgun, give me the rifle. Super annoying, the uh, Doom Purpose Hotkey now. And it makes it less useful than it should be, really. <laughs> okay, ah, uh, fantastic. And how's the fat Ferengi over there where you can barely skate this uh, letter candy door? Yeah, and you should be able to do that quickly. Then again, suspension of disbelief in this episode is kinda required. Federation, where's the profit in chasing me? Why, why is everyone after me? Everyone! The entire compliment of, of smugglers back here. Doesn't make any sense, man. Who is shooting? Instead of a grenade launch, I can't even see anything around the corner. 
Oh ja, du kannst im Rocket Launcher ver. What how? <lacht> okay, nur die Stings nicht wahr. Das ist aber Charging mir für Chanky, I guess. <lacht> wow. Und sie geben für random super äh, Difficulty Spike hier, apparently. He's got them fucking doors, man. They close behind me and I can't open the button with my backhand, apparently. They also try to squish me. Oh. Oh boy, man. This is really testing my patience right now. Yeah. Direct impact. Does it matter? Of course it doesn't. Why would it matter? Please, thank you very much. Find the pair of stamps. Well, I tell me that fat Ferengi, that fat Ferengi jumped over this and pulled off radioactive sludge, will he? No way, no way, no way in a million years, my friends. No way in a million years. Not a slightest chance. Okay, so well, uh, if you want to make a campaign, that is okay. By all means, do so. But it has to be somewhat believable. This is anything but believable. This is so far removed. I mean, I'm pretty tolerant when it comes to these things. Why? But it's just too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> no way. No way. Other disbelief is absolutely no way. No way. <laughs> no way. Okay, no need to repeat myself, but that's how I feel right now. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I get it. And I mean, it's an insta here because I... Fail to find the hand because there is no hand so... <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> and by the area, you know what I mean? Should be workable, but of course I have to press the button. Yeah, of course the crates also floating on the surface. Wasn't that lovely? Yeah. Maybe this works, who knows? Ach, was ist das Wetter? Grenades, right to the face, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever, of course, that's what I thought. Can't anyone kill this Federation scum? I would like to kill you very much there, you goddamn fucking Ferengi. <laughs> you really deserve it. I will put my combat uh, knife in your belly there, with pleasure, I should say. Or is the one from the Klingons, whatever may be the case. Maybe I get the job done. I don't want a fucking tricorder there. Yeah. Yeah. There's someone with that thing back here, incidentally. Oh, we're out of juice. I see. We're out of juice. Now we're fantastic. Of this heavy weapon. We only get a couple of shots. I see what think. But I'm just going to rush them here. Yeah. Fucking it is rush them. Die. Die fucking die. Oh, die. Fire arms whenever this will be. The only difference was accuracy really bad. Excessive difficulty spike as then King on the guard. Or normal difficulty supposedly. But never where this will be up close. <laughs> I already you fucking Klingon on scum. Why are you protecting this Ferengi anyway? Because the Klingons they hate Ferengi with passion incidentally. If they should. You cannot be serious with this. Uh, I, by the way, I checked the options in the first game. Yeah, hold on there a second. In the first game, we have safe weapon switching and normal weapon switching. Exactly what I want, right? Exactly what I want, game. So we have no ammo for anything. That's fantastic. So it's back to the good old phaser. This indicating some Klingons. Let's try to. There's someone also fucking rocket launcher back here. Right, isn't there? Yeah, the Centaurian bastards. Is it too bad here, Vinny? How can I defend against this if we don't defend the ammo? Can't even hit one guy reliably, let alone two. Prevent him from firing, Monroe, please come on, thank you. Oh, really? Oh, the section is just uh, overstating as well. It's a tiny bit of to say, but I'm very eager to get this Ferenke finally in chains. Going down. 
You cannot be serious with this. Does make any sense? As in crisis warhead, you cannot. Uh, yeah, you just cannot make this happen. I'm sorry, it's completely unbelievable. This guy is a fucking overweight Frankie. We are a trained security officer. We work out all the time. We are muscular. We're part of an elite tester team. You know, an elite strike force. It cannot happen. It's not allowed. It doesn't make any sense. He's climbing ladders, he's running faster than athlete, and he's jumping over pools of acid, and he still has us uh, in the dust, Vidi. Really. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That's not funny, it's just tragic. Nothing else to say. Help! Help! Federation attackers! Slow down, Omag. Stop him! In the name of the Empire! I'm no longer a commander in the Klingon Empire. You still know how to shoot! Save me! I'm your best customer! Just shoot him already. Just shoot him already. Shoot him already, please. Very well. You have no honor, right? You have no honor. That's what the Frank is trying to look like, and not the other thing we saw. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> well, at least I have the great weapon equipped, I guess. Maybe. Should inflict some serious... No, that's not any damage. Direct hit with the rocket launcher. No damage was inflicted. So, okay, I have to hit him specifically. Get the... <laughs> Why is everyone so angry all of a sudden against me specifically? I don't understand it. I'm sorry. Okay, what is that? Oh, right, okay. Um, sure, whatever you say, dear friend. Obviously, there is an, uh... Oh, they're out of shoes. Oh, that's fantastic. And some flames. Okay, what I have to do here? Put him specifically. Of course, he has, um... <laughs> okay, we're inflicting a minuscule amount of damage. And he's shooting... He's shooting grenades, apparently, or rockets, even, from this uh, utility thing. Maybe... <laughs> I'm not sure what that even is, you know. Looks like a loading type of affair. Okay, I'm getting some shots for the at least, but the rifle is not exactly the most accurate thing I've ever seen. You, <laughs> sure, you can do that. And of course, I get stuck in these fucking tiny ledges all the time. All the Buktag. time. What's wrong with this piece of Buktag? Well, it's an ancient thing on space station. Why are you protecting that honorless Ferengi? Yeah, why indeed? Why? That is my business. Business is right. Klingons aren't supposed to fight for Latinum. Die! Ah, so Can it doesn't matter what we say. <laughs> Topa, my scan will find its mark. What? Okay, whatever. So, as usual, what we say doesn't matter. Be it all former girl. <laughs> Be it all former girlfriend or some fat honorless Klingon. Is this? What has happened to the campaign all of a sudden? It doesn't make an ounce of sense. It doesn't make one ounce of sense. I am coming for you, woman. Okay, so this game is really testing my patience. It's absolutely testing my patience right now. Yeah. Okay, switch that got the rifle switch. <laughs> no, well, but you know what? Rather we try to make have something happen with that here. In the not the order of also out of two slaughter fantastic, there's an extra research panel. Flames, so it means they're accessible. Great, fantastic. Okay, uh, so once again, game doesn't feel like switching weapons. Okay. But well, we also have to have some rifle grenades for you, maybe. I don't think we can get them on target, right? And they have the insta-kill laser, uh force field or whatever that was. Didn't even get to see it, frankly. No, nope, he's still locked apparently, but fantastic. <laughs> he is out of juice now. That's even better, so we're completely defenseless, right? Gotcha! Work properly! Klingons don't fight for Latinum. You dare insult my honor? You have to order. You're a lying capect. Ah, 
Space is cold. Stop me, Ja, hate the overhead panel, maybe. That could be a good idea. And maybe also have some juice for a firearms. A better idea, you know? You man. Ja, yeah, down jump right into the fake your body roll. Ja, yeah, I, I can't hit him very reliably, of course. Ja, das bounces off against the armor of that thing, whatever it may be. Okay, hopefully the fine takes care of business. <laughs> oh, you were asking for it, old man. You were asking for it, old man. Really sure, of course. Of course, ja. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, we have the button. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so ripped off the weapon out of this uh, device, really. <laughs> okay, well, it is, uh, he's a fat bastard, but he's also super fast, of course. He yeah, needs to keep himself back here to get burned to Christopher as well. And then back to the face. <laughs> Ach, be it a fat Ferengi or fat old type thing, or they move like athletes. There we go. Omeg has ja, just left the station. Two words for this. Thank you, Lieutenant. Utter We're moving to rubbish. intercept this shuttle now. Report back to the Enterprise. Monroe to Sydney. Pick me up immediately. Coming right now. Yeah. Ja. Utter rubbish. Nothing else to say, frankly. You know, I have no idea how many attempts it took. Tetrion Gatling gun. Nice. This fat thing of us running around like an athlete as if they've prank you instantly. It makes no sense whatsoever. The health points on this thing is outrageous, frankly. And of course, no health stations. Absolutely no health stations, and yeah, we had to fight the port, and we had to fight this guy on foot, and they did, of course, not share the health pool as you would think. Yeah, that was very frustrating here, needless to say. And we did all of this for that fucking Ferengi Willi, and everyone was fighting us, Willi. I was insensible. Nothing we witnessed here makes any sense whatsoever, frankly. <laughs> okay, K7 okay, Starbase, well, we are quite familiar with that one, aren't we? What happened to the warp core? I thought we had to inject the warp core. Omeg wiped the data banks. He purged all the information and filled all of existing memory with random data. Of course he can do this as well, of course he can. Data. Of course. <laughs> Without his data, we can't prove he knew the Master Control Facility was a weapon of mass destruction. Then it looks like we'll have to release Omag. But he is an accessory to murder. We cannot hold him long under Federation law. Fortunately, there are other laws. Oh? The laws of acquisition. Sir, requesting permission to interrogate Omag. That is not part of your training. I think it will be out ah, of order. But does it matter? We're also an engineer and the commando and whatever. Very well. Add it to the you list, why not? realize, of course, that if you violate any Federation interrogation policies or bargain with OMAG, then there will be strict penalties for your actions. In light of your recent performance, I will allow this to take place. Good luck, Lieutenant. Yeah, thank you, sir. But I think we may leave this for next episode, shouldn't we? Because it was surprisingly frustrating, absolutely nonsensical, and also pretty lengthy once again. But we shouldn't linger in this office for too long, should we? Even though exploring this ready room would be kind of interesting. But yeah, okay, well... We know some of the objects, of course, but some of them were destroyed when the Enterprise indeed crashed, you know? On Veridian 3, I believe. And what happened to the Enterprise? I thought they were crippled. What happened to the warp core? What happened with the dry dog, you know? Did we have a repair ship out here? Uh, Off-screen? It wasn't certainly mentioned, right? Uh, so many questions, so few answers, and so much nonsensical stuff going on in this episode alone. I'm a little bit speechless here, I'm sorry. I certainly expected some twists and some unexpected developments, but uh, nothing like this here, frankly. But hopefully I can regain my composure and recover from the shock in between episodes, but for today I'm certainly done right now. Okay, so ultimately, that's all we need to do for today. So as usual, I think of watching, and I hope to see you next time.